What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a new South Park game being in development. This is extremely exciting, and honestly, it comes from somebody who is not even a fan of South Park. I've rarely watched the show. However, both of the Ubisoft games, I think, are awesome. I really love them. I've played them both fully, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I am in when it comes to the gaming department of South Park. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it kind of touches upon a passion of mine. I'm all in. The rest of the stuff, I'm not saying it's bad. I just don't I just don't partake in it. But this is very good because last we heard, okay, to kind of catch people up. So we obviously had uh, the Stick of Truth and then the Fractured Butthole, right? Those were the two games of South Park. And the rumor was Matt and Trey were, were uh, burnt out of making the game because it took them a long time and it was, you know, quite the uh, ordeal to do it. So there was most likely not going to be a third game being made in the way of South Park. Now, again, I guess here's the kicker. This isn't that. This is not the third game in that trilogy. So technically, you know, we're not going to necessarily get another game like that. However, so where does this come from? Well, Bloomberg broke the story and they said earlier this year, Stone and Parker established a $600 million credit facility which it, with uh, HPS investment partners that appraised their library at close to $1 billion. According to people familiar with the terms of the deal, in addition to the movies for Paramount+, Plus, Parker and Stone are going to use that money to invest in a wide range of creative endeavors, including a documentary series, a certain kind of company that I'm not sure I'm allowed to say on YouTube, and a 3D video game that is set in the world of South Park. Jason Schreier, our, uh, our weaselly friend J uh, Jason Schreier, does not yet know who is making and publishing the game. And it links a tweet to Jason. He's blocked me because he, uh, he I, don't, I actually don't even know why. I'm going to assume it's because of several reasons that I won't go into. But, you know, I, I'm going to trust, you know, Reddit's post. So he doesn't know who's making it and who is publishing it, which to me, I would say states, again, and considering 3D video game, that's not the same kind of, elements that were in you know the the ubisoft game so i would say again like this is a this is a cool thing this is both really exciting maybe disappointing for those that and again like i was a big fan i loved the fighting style um uh you know those are that was a, a very different kind of way now it's obviously been done before but you don't see the way that you fight you know in south park uh, in, in in those games you don't see that all that often especially i would say in more like mainstream games and again even me not i'm not i would not call myself a fan of south park okay even me just not caring going into those games funny full of heart you can tell they that's like one thing that is very apparent right that they care i mean it literally is like watching the show in several occasions uh like for sure again the easter eggs and references and stuff it's fantastic uh, they they you know bag on ubisoft all you want but they were uh, you know they were obviously part of the thing behind this they did an extraordinarily good job making these games so while it does suck because i, I will miss those games like quite a bit I, I actually think back to those games more than you would expect someone who doesn't care about south park to do that i think about those games a lot and uh it is disappointing to hear that you know they're mo and I've, I've heard that rumor before that there most likely isn't gonna be uh you know a third game at the same time you never know maybe they could figure out a way of doing it where they're not even attached to all that much like if they feel so burnt out and that's the thing like they're so burnt out but and but they're investing like they're putting money into it so like are they gonna be behind it or are they just gonna pick people and you know the situation that they feel comfortable with and they're just gonna kind of let them go off it could very well be that but a 3d video game that is set in the world of south park so again very that's a very different kind of thing but i would I would imagine and I would hope that they would get the that this game would get the exact same amount of respect the other two did, right? I, I you know don't make and I I would say that look I say that for everything I've said that for like movies like the Uncharted movie that's you know obviously the game means so much to me and it means so much to other people it's like you gotta respect it i mean this is a really good example of the opposite way like they're making a game off of a show it's like well don't do it if you're not gonna put in your all and again credit where credit's due they destroyed it in a good way in a positive way it literally is the show it's the show but it's interactive and it's really engaging like it's not a bad it's not a bad system it's a really good rpg game right so that's how you do it so i would expect the exact same thing 
for this new South Park game. And obviously, you know, this seemingly just happened. So, like, this is going to take a while. I would imagine we're not getting anything for three, four plus years, right? But at the same time, knowing that there is a South Park game coming is exciting. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And I do a brand new video on this channel every single day. So, I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.